It was about five, about five together. Really? For these March crappy here. See this deep water right through here? Paddle tail, lake country bait, boy, that thing ain't nothing but the truth right there, boy. This is where these fish are gonna be staged at. See, six. So I'm telling you, them March crappy right there, boy. You're the greatest alive. That big brush. What is happening, people? Hey, guys, we are at Kerr Lake today doing some crappy fishing. This is the first week of March, actually, March 4th. If you miss the month of March, you miss some of the best time of the year to catch some really nice crappy. We've been here a while this morning. We're up one of the creeks, uh, and today we'll go over in the video about how to find some of these crappy, isolate. You can spider rig for these fish, you can long line, or you can live scope. That's what we're choosing today, one pole live scope. I know some people don't like that, but that's what we chose to do today. Lake is really trashy, so long lining would be really tough, but can be done. Anyway, guys, don't forget to subscribe to the video. I'm trying to get to 20,000 subscribers by June. So you're, you can help me do that and achieve that goal. Guys, stay with us. I hope you enjoy the video. Got it. Leave me. Well, at least he reacted good. Is that a different one? It's the same one. Mm -hmm. No mud miller. No new test color, y'all. All right, there he is. He's a pretty good one. About 12 inches. What do you think he weighs? Yeah, I need to test my new scale out. Yeah, I don't blame you. He's continuous losing. Almost a pain. So look guys, we're looking for these March crappy here. See this deep water right through here? This is where these fish are gonna be staging at. See 16 foot here? And if you look on up here, you watch. Stay out in your deepest portion. Like it. All right, guys, so when we're looking for these March crappy, uh, we want to stay in these deeper sections along here. See how this water is deeper right through here? And then you have this narrow area here. All right, I'm gonna stop this from panning. And we are actually trying to get to this area here. And all these shallow areas are spawning flats for these crappy. But these crappy are gonna stage in the deeper portions along these uh, creek channels in here. That is where you're gonna find those big crappy. And I'll show you, we putting along, and just look, right there, you can see those are suspended crappy, right there. And we in 19 feet of water, boom. That's what it needs here. Where? I don't think so. What is this thing called? What color is this? I don't know. Somebody said the mud mineral. That's a new color. New. All right, Dennis, that's your mud mineral. Your new color. Telling you, them March crappy right there, boy. Good gracious, a lie. That big rascal. Look, he wanted that thing too. Look, he engulfed that thing. So we've been plugging along, but I tell you, this wind is not our friend. I caught him on a shad color paddle tail, and he's a pretty good one. I'm gonna weigh him just because. I'm gonna say he weighs a pound four ounces. 
116. Yeah, 116. That blue's doing good today. Good gracious of life, boy. That, that, that old paddle tail, lake country bait, boy. That thing ain't nothing but the truth right there, boy. Hey, they can't stand that shad. Look, I'm gonna show you something. Look, right there. Now, I ain't got nothing to do with your business, but that's a paddle tail bait from Lake Country Baits. And that is a Virginia shad. That thing will catch white bass, white perch, crappy. And that little paddle tail, see it's thin right there. That little paddle tail, boom, lights out. Hey, and they keying in on that paddle tail bait today for some reason. You never know why they like that color, but if you don't have that Virginia shad and the paddle tail bait in your box, you need to get some. Cause I've got two or three, I've got two or three and I never underestimate that Virginia shad color. Boom, catches fish like that. You know, you come down here to the lake in March and you can have crappy, you can have some crappy still deep, still some shallow. But when you go up in the creeks, look for those deeper areas. Sometimes you'll have a defined creek channel and those fish will run right along the edge of that defined creek channel. <clears throat> Many lakes, after they get some age on them, fill in in the upper end. You'll have a deeper portion of the creek, but you won't have a defined creek channel just because it's filled in and silted in over the years. So when you look on your map, you'll see those creeks where you're, they, they get narrow. You can concentrate on those narrow points you may have a shoal there where it's a hump and a long point on the other side which creates a narrow point that may be 20 feet deep, 18 foot deep and it rises really quickly on the side. I'm going to get ready to show you a, a spot just like I'm talking about and you can fish along that deeper portion right in the middle. Now look at this. This is the kind of place I'm, I'm talking about. See this? The, 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 it narrows up. See, this is a flat up here. See how narrow this section is here? Ideal place to find crappy suspended. And I'll show you right there is the evidence. We're coming up on that. See those crappy suspended there? Along the bottom, just off the bottom. Those are for crappy. Boom, there it is there. Now you're not necessarily gonna come here and find fish actually in the brush pile. Possible. <clears throat> When you come down here, look for those steeper bank sides where the contour of the lake drops quicker. That side will have probably more fish than say the flat wheel. Uh, now they'll eventually move. Now in March, these fish could move a lot in one week's time. So you just gotta constantly, this is the first time I've been in this creek today. So we're kind of still hunting fish, but those are some of the places that I'm going to look for fish when I come down here. So I hope that helps. Hmm. You wrap your finger around that thing. Another good one, y'all. Every time. You got it? Yeah, I think so. He swallowed it. Blue Moon. Second chance. Yeah, I know that's right. Yeah, that was a second chance fish. Yeah, oh yeah, you mean we went back, oh yeah. Blue Moon again. Blue Moon. Alright, so update. So, as the day goes on, these fish are actually biting better. Uh, as the sun's came up, you can see it's pretty, fairly cloudy. And uh, we've been catching them on a variety of colors. We've been casting and catching some of these fish, swimming the lure right over top of them. Vertical jigging right on top of them. 
and uh, seem to have found a few fish here. Water's 13, 14, 15 feet, and they're suspended anywhere from six to about 12 foot deep. Now, not all these fish are biting. Some are being lethargic, just bumping the lure, you know, how they usually do crappy fishing. I don't know, we've caught some good fish around that pound mark. We hadn't really found any two pound fish yet. But anyway, hey, let's go catch another fish. Maybe, I don't know where he's hooked at. One time, he shoots all 10 at one time. Look, Nathan got another pound fish on. Oh, boy. Y'all in, in the right spot then. You, you, better, you better get up here. It's on the blue moon, Dennis. On the blue moon. You get ready to sell some blue moon. Good. Let it go. You know where, <laughs> this, you know where this fish come out of, Dennis? What's that? A brush pile up here in 12 feet of water. Yeah, I, I've seen a couple hanging around the brush pile. Yeah. Just hanging around it. Yeah. You know, they're doing that on gas. They're... Okay, guys, we're getting ready to end this video. Uh, all in all, it was a pretty good day. Fish was very lethargic this morning. Uh, we wound up, we kept, put some good crappy in the live well. We returned all those crappy back so they can spawn. Hate to keep those big females this time of year when they're spawning. And uh, we did find some brush piles in about 12 feet of water, and they were holding fish, but they mostly were small fish. Still keepers, 9, 10, 11 inches. Don't you think caught some yeah. about 11 inches out yeah. of the brush that we didn't keep? We only kept the bigger fish for a photo op at the end. So remember, God is good all the time, and all the time God is good. Don't forget to hit the like button. Click the notification bell so you don't miss an episode of Wildlife Adventures. And as always, you remember, it's a wild life. I'll see you on the water.